right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the hardest sport in the world. Yep, time to bleed. Okay. Awesome. Why, why'd you start the video like that again? You know, that's what you're probably that's probably what you're thinking. You know. Well, because uh, I jokingly started my video with that the other day, saying that it works for the YouTube algorithm. So we started with it today again because uh, the last video was almost at like 700 views. And usually I average like 300, so you know, to get more than double that, we are now starting the video with the cocky mindset attitude, saying that my sport's the hardest, I guess. So yeah, absolutely deadly. Let's back into this garage here. We got some gangster music, okay? I usually don't play gangster, gangster type stuff, but like, you know, it's Friday. God, I love Friday, so uh, we're going to get hyped up here with this hype song all right yeah 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 let's go give it to you but wait for you to get on the all let's go deliver to you knock knock open up the door and spray it all right absolutely solid start to this friday we are uh, off to the gym here for first training first of two beautiful beautiful trainings today all right let's turn that damn fan off sorry about let's apologize i gotta apologize for yesterday's car ride talk holy i went back to edit that it took me all the way up until i was in the parking lot at the gym to get my damn point across i was just giving examples for the whole car ride it was still like it was still good and all right but like i didn't even fully i don't even think i fully got my point across and then i left my like heater on in my vehicle so then all you can hear in the background which made the editing so much harder mm -hmm, that's good that's good good job man absolutely solid holy you are dumber than rocks there's a truck in the middle of the road doing work okay just a big truck taking up the whole lane on that side which is fine okay so then the vehicle coming at me comes into my lane but then they do it really slowly and he's just like staring at me like i'm the one in the way and I pulled all the way over for him. See, I don't get, you know, when you're, when you're gonna do something dangerous like that, you know, dangerous, going into oncoming traffic, don't do it nice and slow. If you're gonna get hit, you're gonna get hit. Just because you went slow doesn't mean you're not getting hit. Move over, go right where you were, keep driving, okay? Don't drive dumb. Anyways, okay, enough, enough bullshit. Let's, uh, let's get to the topic here, topic of the day. Another tip, okay? So, uh, Yesterday, you know, that tip was uh, to try and go through the whole day with only looking at the good in things. And whoever did it, please comment. Let me know. Let me know how it was. I, I want to know if anyone uh, went through their entire day with only looking for the good in it. You know, if you gave her a go. But uh, today's tip. The fuck was it? I wrote it down. Uh, so it's simple. It's simple. It's simple. It was, uh, oh, what? Uh, take. Oh, open-minded. Always be an open-minded person, okay? Always be willing to learn. No matter no matter how much knowledge you have on something, always be like willing to learn more. It doesn't matter if you're the best fucking person at whatever it is you're doing. Everyone's mind's different, so everyone's mind's thinking differently. So maybe someone has some sort of tip that they thought of about something that you just didn't think of. You know, okay, we have to turn the heater on. Windows are fogging up, but for example, like gymnastics, I've been doing it 20 years. For the most part, there's not a whole lot that can be taught to me at this point, but I'm still more than willing to listen to anyone's sort of tips. Because it doesn't matter how much I've, you know, personally studied how this skill's done, or this is done, or this is done. Like Vault, I've watched all sorts of videos. I've tried so many different things over and over and over and over. And then Yanni sends me this nice big text of like, here man, I had the same issue as you, this is what I did. And it worked really well for me. You should give her a go. And I'm like, okay. I'm always willing to try new shit. Want to try it? Fix my fucking vault. Now I have a pretty good vault. Or the other day, you know, usually my my coach, you know, he's been coaching me forever. So his tips are have been relatively like now the same for the last hour long because I've heard every like type of tip. But the other day, like he thought of something super super basic that I don't even know why like I didn't think of, but I don't even know if I would have thought of it. Like for high bar, he gave me a little tip of my Kovacs Coleman connection. Sometimes I'll catch the Kovacs and it's not good enough to connect it. But he said, well, if it's not good enough to connect it, just do the Coleman in the same turn with the beat again, with the giants in between, just for the endurance. I was like, why didn't I think of that? It's something so simple. So, you know, just always be an open-minded person, willing to, like, always listen to others, no matter no matter how much you know about something, because someone might just have a basic little tip like that that 
you probably would have thought of, but just hearing it from someone else really quick might have might have helped you out. Just remember, you're not the smartest person in the world, okay? Not the strongest, not the fastest, not the biggest. Unless you're Mr. Olympia, I guess. But you get my point, okay? No reason to just be the only one living in your own mind, let other people in to give you some pointers, some tips to help you, to help you improve. But yeah, we are at the gym, okay? The red zone, the dead zone, the kill zone, the war zone. I spent most of my car ride singing X Go and Give It To You to get hyped up for this morning training. At least try my best to get hyped up for morning training. As hyped as you can get for doing physical activity in the morning, okay? But yeah, let's get to work, shall we? Oh, all right, hand steering conditioning. Through my good way, through my bad way. <laughs> oh, bad way pirouettes are getting good. All right, three pirouettes, reverse now. Three good way, three bad way. Deadly, no form break on those, I think. I think. Yeah, all righty, Ramba. One bar, swing the handstands. Deadly. All right, hands down the rings. All right, we're gonna do our handstand hold while Noah does his flips, and we're gonna do it right here <laughs> for, for a challenge. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let me put my fingers under it. Is it hard? Kinda, yeah. How hard? <laughs> <laughs> Take over, take over. It's the takeover. Oh. <laughs> Go the other direction. Yay. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. Speed run. Oh, that's right. That counts as my ring strength for the day. Putting rings in the title now. <laughs> okay, time for the presses. Roll press. Five. We gotta do five of them, and two of them have to be held. Don't think I forgot about Japanese handstands, did ya? We just switched up the order slightly, okay? But we got our 30 second Japanese handstand, and then we're done handstand conditioning. <laughs> All right. 
Done handstand conditioning. It's time for a quick little floor, floor vault session. And then landing's really quick because we are very much behind on our morning training. I showed up already later than normal. It was, it was okay, it was just enough time to finish on time, but then I had to help with someone with something, which is fine, which is fine. But uh, we just gotta do a quick little vault session now, a quick little landing session. So we can get back here and hopefully do some more floor again today. Yeah, all right, vault. Let's get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get warmed up, let's get started, let's get going here. Two hand springs, one or two folds, depending on how it feels. And if it's feeling good, we'll do a double twist and a two and a half. If nothing's feeling good, then we'll just do folds, but we'll see, we'll see, okay? Hand spring number one. Hand spring number two. Baby on baby. All right, full twist, number one. All right, that full's not bad, so we're gonna go for the double twist now. By the way, there's absolutely, well, there's Noah and Marco in the gym, but no one else in the gym, that's why we're playing this uh, deadly music at the moment. But yeah, double twist, number one. Damn it, we're gonna try double twist again. I hit the beat board like this instead of Punching like that, I punched there and then just dove into the table. All right, double twist number two. The fucking my heel drive just trash at the moment. That turn, no heel drive. Last turn, too much to the point where it threw me onto the table. Oh, okay. So we did too little, too much. That means this one's gonna be perfect. Okay, double twist number three. Deadly. All right, main thing, this is mainly for me, documentation. Uh, main thing to focus on was heel drive, because I kept popping off the table, and my feet would kind of go like that, instead of like that, bringing my head straight up and my feet straight down like that, to flip me. I was kind of going like that. That turn I kind of focused on, this is my head, this is my feet, pretty much just flipping into the table which will never happen because I'm running way too quick, so it'll bring me forward automatically, like default. So yeah, we're gonna try two and a half now. We're gonna do a two and a half now. We're gonna land it, okay? Two and a half, number one. I changed it. Ah, uh, I changed it. We're gonna do one more. All right, two and a half, number two. All right, all right, got an idea, got an idea. Okay, since we're behind on uh, morning training, way behind. Uh, if this two and a half is the last try, we don't get any more tries. If this two and a half is, you know, really nice, don't have to do landings, okay? That's a good That's a good reasoning to not do it. You know, it's like a reward. But yeah, but it has, to be, it has to be really nice, okay? If it's like good or okay, still gotta do landings, but yeah, okay. There we go, two and a half, number two. Fuck was that good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know the deal. I had a picture in my head too. I told myself if I over rotate it, then it's good. If I under rotate it and had to like step back at all, I wasn't gonna count it as good. No landings. Feels wrong, feels wrong. We're gonna do landings anyways. That fucking, that was so good. We're gonna do landings anyways to celebrate, okay? Feels, feels weird not to do it. We were way behind on morning training, but we're gonna do it anyways. I don't know why I'm doing this, because I fucking 100% accomplished my deal of not needing to do it. Fuck, that ball was so good. That was such a good two and a half. I'll like, for a, for a newbie to the two and a half game, okay? If I've been working two and a half for a year, then that two and a half would've been eh. But since it's like, I haven't done many of them, it's really good. Let's do everything really quick, and then let's get out of here. Yeah. 
Let's go. Good stuff. Did the landings anyways? Did the great balls? Awesome. It's because of the music. Since no one was in here, I was able to pla play, pla play super loud music to like hype me up, which was super helpful because yesterday it was like quiet and I felt dead and I couldn't play loud music because people were in here. But today I felt more awake, plus I got the loud music, so it was just double down. It was great. Okay, let's see you in the first train. See you guys in the second train. Alright, welcome back to second training. As always, getting started on the floor. Let's get started. All right, let's start working some rebound stuff. Like my front layout, front layout where I hurt my ankle on Tuesday. We're gonna try that again today. And my uh, two and a half punch. Scary. Let's try and do that again, but uh, a little bit better, okay? So I don't die. Ah, you got my two and a half. Instead of finishing like that and then punching, it's finishing like that and then punching. That's why I'm going so low. Gotta finish the two and a half more like that, okay? 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 All right, we've done one of every skill in my routine. Uh, I'm done, floor. We uh, almost, almost at a time, but I don't wanna do any more. I'm gonna hurt myself. I need, uh, I need to figure out what I'm doing wrong before I try anymore. Cause I keep doing my two and a half and finishing here. So I need to use less power. So my two and a half finishes more there. Yeah, all right, let's, let's go to a different events. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for parallel bars. Floor, so much fun. It was actually good, it wasn't bad. It was, it was a good floor session. Landings were good for the one of everything I did. I mainly just want to work two and a half punch. Those weren't the greatest, but I know what to work on now in the future, so then I can improve, so that's good. All right, P-bars, let's get started. Dude, I actually crazy. No kung fu's by the way today. Maybe tomorrow. My biceps hurt from yesterday. We're just gonna go for one one routine. That as long as it's good. If it's bad, then we'll do a half routine or another routine. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I got this bruise. You can't see the bruise, but like it's like a very sharp. Oh, sharp pain's not good. It's very sharp and. I don't know how to explain it. Right here, on the inside, hurts. And then it's a very sharp pain right in the middle there. Awesome. It doesn't hurt too, it hurts a little bit in handstand. It doesn't hurt at all on high bar. It just hurts to hang on the P-bars, which is like good and bad, because I only have two hang skills. I'm mainly a support guy on the P-bars, so it's okay. But like, it's very, very inconvenient. It just hurts a lot. So uh, hopefully we can do a few warm-up turns and uh, just numb the hand, and then we'll be good to go. All right. People are team number one. I'm not sure how this grip is because uh, it's hard to make with my hand. So it might take me a few attempts to get my first two skills in, but then we'll be good. But yeah, okay. Enough talking. Routine number one. Ah! Uh, 
feel so tired. This is an extremely poorly executed routine. I feel so tired, I don't know why. Usually that routine's very effortless. I don't, I don't know, we're not very happy with that. That was very, very bad. You know, when the hang stuff wasn't great, that was okay. I had an excuse for that, but the rest of my skills were bad. I was walking all, all right, whatever. We're gonna, do, we're gonna do another set of routines. But yeah, let's do one more routine. I'm not very happy with that routine. Peep routine number two. This was not at all how I expected it to go. I was fucking, I've been doing these great routines. I was hoping the second one would just be better, you know? I, I wasn't looking, after how the first one went, you know, not great. I was like, okay, hopefully the second one's just better. But then I fell. The last three skills were good. But yeah, I don't, know. I don't got much to say. I, they've been perfect the last couple, few months. And today was very, very bad, right? Maybe it's a sign, because I was avoiding routines this week on P-Bars and focus more on the Kung Fu. So new rule is I'm only allowed to work Kung Fu once I've done a routine, except for Saturdays and Wednesdays. That's the new rule. All right, cool, cool. Hi, bar now, let's get started. Oh, my hands hurt. The Coleman was like right on the dowel. Scary. And my hands still hurt a lot. That's awesome. Uh, that was weird. Right when I was here, coming out of the stoop, my hand kind of got stuck. It didn't like let go and open. It kind of held on a little too long. So I like, uh, I'm not hurt. It didn't. You feel the greatest, that's for sure. It's okay. At least I didn't, you know what? Look at the positives. I didn't get injured. Always look at the positives. Second half was good. All right, we did a full routine-ish. Uh, so we're gonna work on the connection now. Kovax, Coleman connection. Oh yeah, little tip with Kovax, Coleman connection. Biggest thing you gotta understand is when you're doing Kovax, Coleman, Casino, you know, all those stuff. Your fast shine, doesn't matter too much. Your bounce at the top kind of matters. What really matters is at the bottom here. When you're going down, right there, right before your kick. Also make sure you don't pull, because if you pull, you'll never catch it. But right here, you bounce. When your toes are going down, after you bounced up and you're going down, you're gonna go bounce. As your toes are going down, open outwards. Don't like open down, because if you open down, it'll drag you around. But if you open out, pull the bar will drag there, 
and then it'll pull you straight up. That's like the biggest thing I figured out is anytime I can feel it when I do it. I know if I'm gonna catch or not just from this point on. Just focus on, don't open down there, don't open out, open that way. And coax foaming will catch it like every time. So then when you connect it, really focus on catching the coax. It's hard in the beginning, even for me, because it's still new to me. But I'm focusing on right when I'm catching to try and immediately push to that spot right there so I can connect it. Because all the ones you see me do where I overdo the connection, it's because I caught and my balance went straight down because I kind of caught and then I just went limp at the bottom instead of pushing out. So just push out, push out. Toes down, push out. See that one? Did the right beat for the Kovacs. That's why Kovacs was good, but when, when I caught. Here, the catch and the push out, it was not bad, it was good. It's more than what I need. My problem is I keep fucking pulling. I get, I get scared just for a second, and that ruins the whole skill, and then I pull, and I just fly away. That's why I'm not able to catch the second part, because I'm just doing this just a little too much. I gotta just kick and let go. When you do Coleman or Kovacs, all you do is kick, and you just let go. You don't pull at all, maybe sometimes, but for the most part, it's just kick and let go. So that's what we're gonna do, that's what we're gonna do. There you go. Finally, finally caught it. Alright, not bad. That third one I did there was insane. Okay, welcome, welcome to the outro. Uh, I was gonna do pommel, I just did a couple circles. That is a no-go for me, no sir. Got got everything going wrong right now for pommel. Not in like a bad way. Uh, my sore arms from the kung fu flip, my triceps are also a bit sore from it, I don't know why. And uh, you need your triceps a lot on pommel. Like you need to be grabbing there. So your triceps get used a lot for pommel. And mine are kind of sore. And my shoulders hurt. Uh, I don't want to. This is your lot, okay? This is your lot. But so that stretching back there is not feeling great. If I didn't hit any routines yesterday, or if the routines yesterday were bad, I would be doing pommel today no matter what. But since the two routines I did yesterday were really good, I just told myself if pommel doesn't feel good, we don't have to do it today. Next week, back into it, minimum one routine on pommel every single day. This week was kind of just the do my new skills, figure that shit out so I can, you know, start adding it all in the routine. So hopefully, kung fu flip in the routine next week, quas to the routine next week, and then start getting that ring shit back, okay? Everything is coming along correctly. Nicely, nicely too, I guess, but like, it's coming coming along the way I want it to. So far, Quas got good quicker than I expected. Kung Fu, it's coming along kind of how I expected, but yeah. Okay, enough rambling, enough chatting. Hopefully my tips uh, helped with uh, Kovacs Coleman connection. But yeah, main thing with that Kovacs Coleman connection, because anytime, pretty much nothing, nothing in a Kovacs or a Coleman or a Casino, any of that shit, nothing matters other than these two things. You're open right there at the bottom and to just let go of the bar when you kick kick and just let go at the end Those those two things right then kick let go don't pull kick let go and for your open to go there Kind of like out a bit, but not back there and not straight down just that way You know in that direction like that is the biggest tip I would give is that open part if you can figure out how to do that consistently then you got easy Coleman easy Kovac see look at my fucking hair but yeah you get the point okay I'm gonna just do the outro really, really quick so I can go cut my fucking hair off sorry for all the swearing that my hair has just been frustrating me today because it's been in my eyes all day and I wasn't in the happiest of moods on P-bars so it didn't really help with that okay enough talking that's the end of the video if you watched fully enjoyed it glad to hear that if you watched the full video Comment the word. Oh, here we go. Let's let's start doing the flags we got up here on the wall. We'll start with the Nebraska one, okay? Since I landed it back two and a half today, thanks to Yanni. Yanni goes to Nebraska for school, so we're gonna do Huskers. And then we'll do Nebraska another day. But we're gonna do Huskers today. H-U-S-K-E-R-S. -S. Huskers. Okay? Huskers. For the day. Okay. Bye,